Yes. Did you want to keep this one? Or yeah, I'm going to keep this one. here back at you with another pickups video it's been a little bit uh i got a little bit of stuff not a whole lot of stuff but i got definitely got some decent stuff um get to it in a second i've had actually two really good deals just fucking disappear in the last week i don't know what it's like the guy today he said a uh, couple hundred dollars i was like two hundred dollars he just quit texting me he texts me all day I don't get it. Whatever, man. But uh, anyways, I found some stuff out in the wild. Uh, first up, I'll show you something I got at a pawn shop. Pretty sure this is all I got. They wanted like six bucks a piece. I got a two for five. We picked up uh, Hercules: The Legendary Journeys on the sixty-four. I think it's about a fifteen-dollar game. I didn't have it, so uh, we already got the label on there. I'm gonna throw that up in the collection. Another game I didn't have yet uh, for the NES was Hudson Hawk. This came from uh, Phil's video in Coloma, Michigan. It's neat to see them rental stickers, especially when they're not around here. In Michigan's not too far away from Ohio, but still cool. So I got them uh, two for ten bucks. All right, guys. Now, every time there's one Salvation Army like close to me, I never go there. Not really at all, cause the games. Every time I've seen it, not even decent games are expensive as hell. But uh, I go in. They got a glass case, and there's a like another stack behind a stack. And then I see this game sitting on top. I'm like Zelda. $2.99? What? So I was like, well, the game's not going to be in there. Sure enough, it was. Couldn't believe it. Then, uh, under that one, we had, uh, Mario Kart DS for $2.99. They must have had an off day with pricing. But, uh, I swear, every time I'm in that place, it's a big store, and there's never more than five people in it. But then we got the same events of DePaul, and that place is packed. Constantly. But yeah, six bucks for two DS games, Mario and Zelda. I'll take those. Already have them, so I'll flip them, buy something I don't have. Then we were at a. Uh... Okay, I had things in order here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, never mind. I got it. So uh, next up at another pawn shop. I haven't really bought a whole lot of games there. It's usually DVDs. I've got a few decent games there. Decent price, actually. But uh, they got some new Wii games in. Or put some new ones out. They, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Complete with the receipt. And Pikmin. I've never found a Pikmin game out in the wild, so I thought that was kind of cool. I might keep it complete. Uh, the only thing about them, cases has got writing on them, which I can probably get off, but they're kind of dirty. I got a magic eraser over there. That damn thing does wonders, so I'll try to clean them up a little bit, of course. All right, that's it for the pawn shop finds, I think. Let's go for uh, that same Vincent DePaul I was telling you about. They had some uh, Wii games too. Picked up a lot of Wii stuff for some reason. Got a Warrior Land Shake It. It says 6 bucks, but I think it was 25% off. That's why I picked it up. So, what's that, 450 
my math does me right. And a game that I've been wanting for a very long time. For some reason, I've never come across it. We got Punch Out. So that was eight bucks. Take two bucks off. I'll take it for six bucks. Minty, minty, minty. So that was a pretty good deal for basically almost like ten bucks for them two games. I'll take it, especially at the thrifts. Alrighty. Speaking of uh, <laughs> Punch Out, I, I just can't believe I found another one. The Nintendo Selects version. So we got both versions. Still contemplating which one I'm going to keep. But, uh. How much did I pay for this one? It's hard to remember this stuff sometimes, guys. Getting old and shit. Um. Trying to think of where the hell I got it at. <laughs> Damn. Anyways. I paid. Oh, okay. I know where I got this. This came from the pawn shop. Four bucks. From uh, Cash America, I think. Usually, sometimes, uh, like, if they get a Mario games and stuff, they'll price Mario Kart Wii for $25. It's kind of annoying, but yeah. Four bucks. So I got two punch out games for like ten bucks total. Definitely keep them one. Flip the other one. Be free. Alright guys. Got a couple of uh, Sega titles here. Some good old Sega titles. Or maybe I should show you this other gaming stuff before I get to these few heavy hitters I got. Today I picked up these uh Sony Move controllers. 15 bucks, two of them. It's uh, definitely a good deal. Got those. And everybody knows, probably even now, but Toys R Us is closing, which pretty much sucks, man. There's going to be no goddamn toy stores left. I mean, I don't know about your regions, but we used to have Johnny's Toys back in the day. Before then, we had Children's Palace. That goes pretty far back. I don't know if that was around... You guys in the neck of the hood, let me know. They did say KB Toys is trying to make a comeback, which we'll see how that goes, man. But it's kind of hard to survive out there with the way that it is anymore. I mean, Toys R Us won't compete with prices. And uh, online, the Amazon and eBay and online sales are killing stores, man. They're just dying off. Why go put up with the hassle of, like, people aggravating the shit out of you, trying to run you off the road when you can just click a button at your house and find whatever you want, you know what I mean? But I still like to go out and hunt for it. That's what we do, but that's just the way it's coming down. Anyways, for 7 bucks, picked up this Ganondorf 6-inch figure. My buddy at work got one. I think it was, like, 7 bucks. That's a damn good deal. Keep it for the collection. Alright, got a couple Sega Genesis titles. We picked up, uh, I walked in, uh, I might show the clip getting of this video. I walked in, seen six Sega games in the case. I seen Mutant League Hockey. It says 45 bucks, since you know, thrift store price. You know. But for 45 bucks, I was like, that's complete. That's a pretty damn good deal. But it ain't complete. But the cartridge is pretty clean. Pretty clean. And then a lady was telling somebody else that everything in the case and everything was 25% off. It was like, well, that ain't bad. I mean, the game goes for 30 bucks, so it'd be like getting a free case. So... So why the hell not? So I think it was thirty-six dollars in total. All I need's a manual. I'm not worried about it. I love just having the case for Sega games. They're so nice. Wish Nintendo would have made hard cases back in the day. And uh this other Sega game I got, it was on uh 
eBay was running some kind of promotion. I think it was like 25% off of an item over a certain amount of money. So I talked the guy down to 50 bucks, and that took $10 off. So I got it for 40 shipped. And we got a shooter uh, Hellfire. And it is complete with the manual in really nice shape. Cartridge is really clean. Definitely not happy to add that to my collection. I got a list of shooters I want for Sega. I got hanging up on my work on a post-it note. So, knock one off the list. And uh, this game I've been wanting to get for a while. I keep asking people, hey man, anybody got this for trade? Or I guess everybody wants to keep it, but I've seen it listed on... Uh, eBay of his recent listings, it was like starting bid was 60 bucks and buy it now is 90. So I just hit him with it right off the bat. I said, Hey, I'll give you 65 bucks right now. And then he said, Uh, oh, best I could do, I think it was uh, shit, I don't know if you want the 70 or 75, but uh, I said, Nah, I will, I didn't really think much of it, I just let it ride and uh. The auction uh, was ending, and it was still at the 60 bucks, and nobody bid yet, and I snuck that bid in there. I put like a $64 bid or something. Nobody else bid it, and I won it for $59.99. So he could have at least got five more dollars, but, you know, he was hoping to get a little more money. But that's the way auctions go. That's why I don't really like doing them anymore. But look what we got, guys. Blazing lasers in the big box. It's got some damage on it right there. No big deal, but it's in the big box, man. Even a protective case for it. Let's open this bad boy up. There's the front. Really nice condition. I think this was the only other turbo game I wanted. You know, I got that big lot out of that storage unit, so I got a lot of turbo games. But that was one of the other ones I wanted. It's even got the styrofoam in the bottom. So yeah, man, I was pretty damn happy about that. 60 bucks. It seems like that game's going a little bit up in value. So I'm happy with that $60 purchase there. Sometimes it's good to just wait it out. And uh, that's about it for uh, gaming stuff right now. I do have a couple other things I want to show. I do buy other shit, flip it, and keep stuff, but show you a couple interesting items I picked up like if you if you see blank media out there like old blank media this stuff sells man I picked this up for 50 cents probably at least get ten dollars for it. just some HD PC discs picked this up for 250 a Wi-Fi range extender it's originally came from Micro Center with 70 bucks which I bought one of these and they really didn't work worth a shit but um, two dollars and fifty cents, easy thirty bucks right there. This shit pays for your games, guys, man. I, I'm there's a series I want to start. Uh, what I sold on eBay. Like I don't know how the gaming community will take it, but I find it interesting, man. You can go out and find this stuff at the stores and try to make a little extra money to pay for your gaming collection, man. Why not? I enjoy it. It's fun. But uh. I'll show you one more interesting thing I got. I thought this thing was badass. Got this Kodak Gold, like vinyl, kind of like cooler carrying case, man. Look at this. It's awesome. Flips open. I cleaned it up a little bit. It looks pretty nice now, but uh, I think I pay eight bucks for this. They go online for at least thirty, and it does have some wear on it. That just screams vintage, man. That's I love it. Kind of want to keep it, be honest with you. Yeah, man. This is some other stuff I pick up here and there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't super long. I usually got a lot bigger pickups, but hey, it's the way game hunting goes. I appreciate you guys watching. Peace. Hey guys, Shad Juice here. I wanted to. Uh, just throw this in at the end of the video. 
Uh, many of you may not know, but my wife has MS, and uh, she was diagnosed after we had our son four years ago. She had a lot, few episodes after he was born, and it was really rough, man. She's had a hard time dealing with it, but she's still kicking ass. She goes to work. She's a nurse, and uh, she takes care of people for a living, somebody that's, you know, She's fatigued all the time, and she's she's got it rough, man. But she's she kicks ass, and just wanted to see. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link at the bottom. We did a, did it last year as an MS walk. So if any of you guys would like to donate, man, that'd be fucking awesome. Uh, you don't have to at all, but it's 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 rough for her, man. And I'm really proud of her. She takes. We got a four year old son who's nuts, and. It's a lot to handle, but she she does a great job, man. And there's a lot of people out there that are still active and going to work, and but you never know when things could change. And hopefully we can keep the research going and try to get rid of this shit, man. There's too much disease and cancer going on. And but anyways, I just thought I'd put that out there. You guys don't have to donate at all, but it's just a thought, man. She has no clue I'm doing this at all. She has no clue. So, uh, if you guys want to put the link down there, it could be a dollar, anything. It doesn't matter. Peace. Thanks.